Nkuma outside Nanyuki teaching and referral hospital mortuary when two families from Buri in the county of Meru quarreled over the burial of a loved one. And the families in question are from parents of the deceased and those from the widow. Both families were demanding nine-year-old Jamla Kimathe. Our reporter Cecilia Kesho reports on the controversy that nearly so members of the two families engage one another physically. Traders, passers-by and mortuary attendants were treated to a rare incident as two families of the late Jamle Kimanthi and that of his widow got into a bitter exchange of words over his burial. Both families were seeking to bury the deceased. Ndiyo kijana haja apata kwake. Anapazo kuzikwa wapi? Alikuwa nakomboa kama vile wengine wetu tuko. Si anapazo kuzikwa kwa babake. Sasa wamekata. Sisi tutasema nini ni ndugu yangu? Tutasema nini? Sasa hiyo ndiyo maswali yenye tuko naye either watu wambia wataki tuzike kijana yetu tutawaachia roho safi. Ndugu yake mwenye amekufa. Akalifukusha, ayani akakuja akaniambia leta vitu mmepatiwa. Nikamwambia si vitu. Sidhani kama ni sako sababu mwenye isi vitu ni 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 ni, ni bibi ni, ni bibi ya ya huyu mwenye ameaga. Sasa ndiye akaita watu wao akaanza kusema huyo 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 Drama unfolded when the widow's family allegedly disappeared with the burial permit prompting members of the other family to run after her. According to some family members, the move by the widow's family to get the burial certificate was because the deceased had not paid dowry for their daughter and therefore they wanted to safeguard the permit. <laughs> But police moved in quickly and arrested some family members and managed to defuse a situation that had threatened to turn into a physical fight. Like Ipia East Police boss Mutoto Kizito maintained that the body would remain in the mortuary until both sides come to an agreement. Cecilia Kesho, KT News.